Next game we have is the Eagles. Yeah, went out to Glendale. Glendale. Oh, wow. Also the home of the San Francisco 49ers now for the rest of the season. <laughs> really yeah, went out there to uh, for the uh, quarterback U-Bowl, a battle of the last two OU quarterbacks, one winning the Heisman, one being a Heisman finalist, Kyler Murray versus Jalen Hurts making his second start. And neither one of them failed to deliver in this game with the Cardinals winning 33-26, to but both quarterbacks – putting on quite an impressive performance. And what was interesting, Jay, about this is leading up to this game, Carson Wentz, former starting quarterback for the Eagles, said that if he's not going to be the starter for this team, he wants to be traded. So having watched this game, Jay, having watched the performance of Jalen Hurts and thus the team around him, should the Eagles be planning now to trade Carson Wentz? Yes. You may as well go ahead and begin it. And it kind of throws a wrench in the off season where we have a a pretty decent amount of quarter decent set of quarterbacks, not amount, but set of quarterbacks that are going to be available via trade because teams are going to have to start getting rid of people. Perfect example, Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz's contract extension did not kick in until this year, his four-year extension. So he's extended through 2024 Mm -hmm. at $128 million, Mm -hmm. with 107 of it, 0.9 guaranteed. You can't cut him because it's going to cost you too much to cut the man. You can't, you don't, because you don't want to eat it. I think that absorbs like 50 or 60 million of their cap or something Mm -hmm. ridiculous if they Mm -hmm. did that. So if that's the case, you may as well start shopping the man if you don't plan on playing him. Now, we re- realize that in this this game, in the situation around with the Eagles, their problem was they needed somebody else out there, a quarterback. I don't know if Jalen Hurts is truly the answer, but they needed somebody else. Yeah. And it's showing. It's showing that Wentz was the problem. They're very competitive. Their defense even looks competent, which is really weird because we've been talking about their defense, especially the secondary, the mm-hmm. last couple of years. Yeah. But their defense looks like it's competent. Mm-hmm. So Jalen Hurts goes out there, and he actually looked really good in this game. Uh, 24 for 44, 338. He averaged about seven yards a pass, kind of low. He took too many sacks. He took six, which is a Carson Wentz issue, but he threw three touchdowns, no picks, no turnovers. Mm-hmm. I mean, he had the fumble and almost lost it, but – He had a solid game, and he ran for 63 yards and a touchdown. Mm -hmm. That should be concerning for Carson. So, Jimmy, my question to you is, do you think that they need to trade him? Is Carson Wentz done as a Philadelphia Eagle? I think so. I think they do need to trade him. I think that, you know how I say that something is not everything, but everything is something. Yeah. So even though Jalen Hurts has played against now, what, the Saints and the Cardinals, and those are just two games, I think that it shouldn't take you long long to see talent it shouldn't take a person long enough to see something that's going to work and I think Jalen Hurts is going to work in this offense he's a lot like Kyler Murray maybe not as fast maybe not as good of an arm but I think that he can he makes this team look competent he makes this team compete because they know that he can make something happen if something's not there that was the problem with Carson Wentz he somehow forgot how to make something happen when nothing is there right and with Jalen Hurts just with his mobility being able to give his receivers an extra one to two seconds to get open or taking off, getting the first down and going out of bounds or sliding just like Kyler Murray. That's something that Carson Wentz can do. That's something that Carson Wentz shouldn't do because of his injury history. So I think that the Eagles and anyone who watched those games have seen enough from Jalen Hurts to where, yes, they need to begin preparations to trade Carson Wentz because it's kind of like musical chairs when free agency <laughs> is over and when the draft is over. There are going to be teams who want to upgrade a quarterback who aren't going to have one. And then Carson Wentz will be there, honestly, at a cheaper price, right? Than say some of the top tier quarterbacks, yeah, right? his contract was historic. I mean, well, per year because all right, Mahomes is going to be bringing in what forty plus. Same with Deshaun Watson, or at least close to roughly. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, it was, still, it was a four year extension yeah. of one hundred twenty eight. So what's the math on that? Four year one twenty eight. What thirty, 30 something? Thirty two, thirty three, something like yeah. that. Yeah. So I think that can work. I kind of have this to this funny thought that if the Jets and the Jags are one and two in any particular order in terms of the draft, whichever one doesn't get Car- doesn't get um, Trevor Lawrence, maybe would be interested in trading for Carson Wentz. I mean, of course, you have Justin Fields and Trey Lance and Zach Wilson and some of the other quarterbacks that are going to be out there. But I think that Carson Wentz can be an attractive trade piece for someone who isn't going to be able to get a quarterback for whatever reason. Yep. So I think, yeah, preparations begin now. Sound like the Jets may be an option for him, to be quite <laughs> honest. Keep them in green. Right.